Hey, what's going on everybody? We're here with Tesla Full Self Driving Beta 1144 in San Francisco. And honestly, San Francisco can be kind of sketchy sometimes, like a lot of urban areas. Honestly, with the way things are and the crime and the people on drugs, I don't really feel like going out and walking and shopping. So I've just ordered something using Shop and Ride. Thanks again to Shop and Ride for supporting Whole Mars this past week. And I think this is a really cool aspect of Shop and Ride is the safety aspect. Where I can have a car go and pick something up for me or grab something on the way home. And I don't have to go navigate, walk around the city by myself. I'm safe in my car. I can order on the touchscreen and it just seamlessly picks it up. So I've just ordered something from Shop and Ride. Let's hit submit and we're ready to go. Now that we've placed the order, the car will just take us to our destination, which is in the mission. So I've been saying that I think this is an Uber Eats killer. It's potentially an Amazon killer. People love the instant gratification of just going and picking up an order right there on your way or sending your car out to do it. I think this is gonna be the future of shopping and companies like Uber Eats better be worried. Okay, stopping for a pedestrian there. That's good. And now we're gonna be making a left turn. So you could order from Shop and Ride and truly not worry about it. You just head over to your destination and that's it. You just punch in your destination, place your order with Shop and Ride and you can forget that you even ordered anything. It'll just seamlessly pull into the parking lot, let the person at the store know, and they'll come and bring out your order automatically. I think you could actually even communicate just like if you've been to a Tesla service center and you see how you have an appointment, they just come out, they know you're there already, and they say, hey, hello, what, whatever your name is, because the Tesla already sent information that you had entered the service center. It's all integrated together. Just like that, Shop and Ride would be the same way, where you place an order, the store knows, okay, he's five minutes away, he's traveling. It can actually share a live ETA with them so they can prepare your order, make sure it's hot and ready by the time you get there. And then as soon as you get there, it communicates that to them automatically. They bring the order out. You can be completely not paying attention, even if you forgot that you placed an order and it'll just pick it up without any input required from you on the way. So that's why I think Shop and Ride is so exciting. And it's not only really convenient, really comfortable, but you don't have to worry about going out late at night and the city being kind of sketchy, or even if you live in a suburban area, sometimes safety can still be a concern but with Shop and Ride, you don't have to worry about it. You have the safety of your home or your car, and it, the items will just be picked up without you needing to go outside or park your car, or having to worry about your car getting broken into, or any of those issues. So a lot of the common sort of safety concerns people have living in the city, Shop and Ride could really change that. All right, looks like we got a right turn up ahead on 19th Street. There's a Waymo. And Shop and Ride would work for pretty much any type of driverless car, but they've got a patent on this and they want to license it to somebody. So who's gonna license it first? Is it gonna be Tesla? I personally hope it would be Tesla, but maybe Waymo or Cruise will license the patent. And whoever licenses it first, the other companies would then have to go and pay them to use this technology because Shop and Ride has the patent. So that's really interesting. And I think there's kind of be gonna kind of be a competition to see who can get these types of services out first. Because whoever does is gonna own an important part of the market. Alright, there's a cyclist here. FSD has detected it and stopped kind of uh, proceeding a little too cautiously there with the cyclist. The cyclist stopped fully, waiting for us to go, so a little bit awkward there. 
but still pretty safe. And uh, I like how it's slowed instead of doing a full stop. Okay, now we're going to be making a left turn here. So shop and ride is going to be absolutely huge. I think Uber Eats is dead. It's a disruption to the Amazon model. And people are really going to love shopping this way. Okay. A little bit of hesitation there. And next we got a right turn coming up on 20th Street. We got a pedestrian walking, the car sees it. Very good, impressive perception system ability. So yeah, who's going to be the first to integrate Shop and Ride and bring this technology to their autonomous vehicle platform? Whoever it does, I think consumers are really going to love it. They're going to love the convenience, they're going to love the safety benefits, and it's going to hook them on whatever platform adopts it first. And you can see how well this technology already works. While the critics are trying to say it's unsafe, it can already navigate dense urban areas so well, and this is just the beginning. So I'm so excited about the future and how fast this technology is going to roll out, and how Shop and Ride is just going to get more and more useful as the software improves. So this is going to be the next big thing, I think. Okay, we're stopped at a red light. Our destination is just ahead after the next light turn. I think people are really going to be surprised by how fast autonomous cars come to market. A lot of people don't realize how much progress has been made. They kind of heard about it and wrote it off, but this technology is here. It's really starting to work. It's really starting to get that level of reliability that you need. And so as that happens, it's going to transform so many sectors, retail, e-commerce, uh, services, pretty much anything that's in the economy is going to be impacted by this AI that can move around the world. And so if I was a business, I would definitely want to be preparing myself, figuring out how I could capitalize on this trend and allow robots to come and shop on behalf of their owners. All right, now we got a left turn coming right up ahead. A little bit of hesitation here. Looks like it was maybe hesitating because of that motorcycle. So, you know, typical new version over cautiousness. When any version's new, it's a, usually a little bit over cautious. So I think we're seeing a bit of that here. And here's where our pickup location is. So now my store is going to come, bring out the order, and I'll be on my way to the final destination. Thanks so much to Shop and Ride for supporting Whole Mars this past week. Go give them a follow at Shop and Ride on Twitter. And if you're Waymo or Cruise or especially Tesla, then I'd like to see them hopefully license Shop and Ride, integrate it, and bring this vision to reality. Thanks everybody for tuning in.